So what we're looking at here today is um, the opening circuit relay for um, the fuel pump, which should be called a fuel pump relay. And um, just looking at how to take it apart here. Now you've got these little metal clips that I thought was to um, take it apart. You've got the three of them there. They actually hold the um, inside components together. You can see I've straightened them out there. And uh, now I've had to jimmy the sides out, which that's what you had to do in the first place. And you just work that out. I've had to put the camera down here while I did this. So sorry about the hand in the way. So you got the uh, relay here, and you can see that it's got a capacitor in it. It's your standard functioning relay. <coughs> There's a capacitor there. If the cap capacitor blew, I don't really think that it'll um, make a huge difference. Uh, it's more to keep a um, steady current voltage for the relay rather than doing anything more than that. Got a earth and power there, triggers the relay. And the bottom, the other side, is also Earth and power is another trigger to the relay, so there's two different sections of the relay that's triggering which brings the power from number two to number one and the number one's what's sending power through to the petrol pump. Alright, just looking at the power here um, in the car without the relay connected. Now with the no ignition, there is nothing in this connection that's... There's no power there. No power there, nothing, nothing, and nothing. <clears throat> if I turn the ignition on, like as if the car would be running, then the battery here, so this one, the middle one's the battery, power, and there's uh, this one here is active, this one's the earth, and there's no power there either, but when I turn the ignition, shows that there's power and these two up here are earth now if with the ignition on this earth becomes earth uh, or neutral it's not active with the ignition off but once you turn the ignition on this neutral here is always active always on is what I mean and this uh earth over here only active while the car is turning or well, the ignition's trying to start so uh, when you try to start the car this earth becomes active which um, triggers the switch in it to bring the power across to this point here once the car is running then this two here are activate the second part of the relay to keep the relay on through the trip which sends power from the battery to this point here so I would assume that the final result is getting power from battery to this point here I should be able to put a jumper across that there if the relay stopped working and still start the car alright so let's see what happens here, eh? There you go, jumping those two across will get you out of trouble if the relay was to pack it in. So, um, like you saw me then, start uh, turning the ignition first and then connect the jumpers. Uh, if you connect the jumpers beforehand, you will hear the pump kick in. But well, that will get you out of trouble. So uh, I'm glad I did this uh, for self 
for myself as well. Um, it's just handy to know how to get yourself out of trouble in any situation. Alright, thanks for watching, and um, till next time.